Scott, thank you for joining us. That's a fantastic victory on the road here at Gillingham. Can I get your reflection on the game first? Yeah, I thought we were absolutely rubbish today, if I'm honest with you. Um, however, we've, we've found a way of winning a game and not playing well. Um, we uh, showed real character. The players were outstanding in terms of their character today. Um, but it wasn't, a, it wasn't a great sight for, um, for how we normally play. Um, but it's a massive three points against a really good side. Um, and players really dug in today. You know, I questioned their character um, in the last game and they certainly showed a different side of them today. So really, really pleased with, with uh, the result, obviously. Really pleased with the character shown. Uh, but like I said, I don't think we were very good today. <laughs> Yeah, and it, us, it's funny, isn't it? Because Will Wright, one of the goal scorers, literally touched on this last week, didn't he? He said that, you know, we'd rather pick up a few, you know, scrappy 2-0, 1-0 wins and, you know, not play well. And that's exactly what we've done today. So it must be pleasing to see that, as you say, character coming through. Yeah, it's a sign of, of a good dressing room, that is. It's a really good sign of a good dressing room. Um, we've, we've dominated possession in nearly every game we've played. Um, but we certainly didn't do that today. We weren't very good with the ball at all today. Um, but, you know, the character that was shown um, and the desire to dig in was outstanding from every, every single player, including the, the players who come on the pitch um, in terms of substitutes. We showed a real character and, of course, really, really pleased to keep a clean sheet. Yeah, we touched a little bit recently on game management. It seemed that that was the best part of our performance today. As you say, we attacked at the right moments. You know, <clears throat> Rolls' goal came at the perfect time. You know, we'd been soaking up a lot of pressure. So, you know, that game management side must be really pleasing. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we're, we're quite young and quite inexperienced in many ways. But the players are learning um, as we go. And they can only get better from having experiences like that today in front of a big crowd on Boxing Day against a really good side. You know, I'm really, really pleased for... for for the fans, obviously, um, they come in good numbers. They sang all the way through the game, um, but we give them something to sing about because we fought and we scrapped and we battled, and you know it was a real dogged performance. Yeah, a few changes, obviously, some for, some not. Um, those those players that came in, they had a great impact, didn't they? You know, Corey's come in, he's made a few wonderful saves just before we go and score a second goal, and you know Darcy's playing in a slightly unfamiliar you know position. You must be pleased to see that you know the squad that we keep talking about is shining through. Yeah, well, we, we prepared the team uh, yesterday. Uh, not sorry, not yesterday, Christmas Eve, um, with Liam Kelly in the team. You know, and he he was fine. And then I got a phone call from him yesterday. Um, while I was tucking into my turkey, basically to tell me that he felt worse. Um, so we kind of changed changed it around, um, you know, and, and, and we had to manoeuvre things about. So we had a meeting at the hotel about what we were going to do moving forward. It's, not, it's, it's never ideal, um, you know, for, for you to lose a player, especially kind of at the morning of a game. But it is what it is. And we've got good players in, you know, in the background ready to come on and play. Um, but Liam's a big player for us and we, we missed probably his prowess with the ball and how he passes it. Um, but listen, the lads done brilliant today. I thought they were outstanding. Yeah, obviously a spectacular goal from Will Wright and obviously Jack Rowe's coming on to make an impact. Must be pleased with him. We have spoke a lot about him recently after his performances in the Bristol Street Motors Trophy. He's had to wait a long time to sort of come on and make an impact in the league, but he's certainly done that today, hasn't he? I'm so pleased for Jack. You know, he, he's, he's waited, he's bided his time and... And he's got his opportunities on a, on a number of occasions, and he's done really well when he's come on the pitch. Of course, you know, scoring a great goal, and you know, he always pops up in, in kind of dangerous areas. Um, you know, I thought he, I thought he obviously had an impact when he came on the pitch. So really pleased for Jack. It spoke a lot about the mentality in the away form. It looks like we've, you know, finally putting that behind us now. You know, that's two wins from two on the road in you know recent times. So it must be pleasing for you, and obviously a delight for the fans as well. Yeah, we just got sort of our home form out now. <laughs> um, but no, no, listen, I've never felt it was an issue. I think people have highlighted it more so. Um, but, you, you know, we, we still grab some valuable points at places like Stockport, Walsall, uh, Salford, you know, uh, really tough places to go. So, we, you know, our away forms, you know, it's been questionable at times, but I've felt, I've felt that we've always performed reasonably well, apart from probably the second half uh, at Swindon Town. Um, but I think we've always performed reasonably well. So, yeah, not pleased for that and obviously pleased for the travelling fans to, to come all this way. I know it's not miles away, but it's, you know, it's still a distance on Boxing Day. Rather than spend time with their family, they've come down and watched and supported the team brilliantly. 
Um, and, and they really deserve three points today, so I'm uh, really pleased. Yeah, it's unbelievable back in, obviously, we you know, close to 5,000 home fans a couple of days before Christmas, and then, you know, 288 here today at Gillingham. It's, it really is incredible sport, and, you know, it's, it feels good to give them a reward, doesn't it? Uh, exactly right. You know, that's a pleasing thing for me, is, is the fact that we've, um, we've given them three points, and, you know, like I say, it's Boxing Day, you know, um, and, and for them to come in their numbers and to sing like they did all game, you know, I'm really pleased that they, they, they went down the road with three points. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. Will, thank you for joining us. That's a terrific away win here at Gillingham. Can I get your reflection on the game first? Um, yeah, well, we spoke probably, what, two weeks ago where we've been playing well and not picking up points, and that's probably bar maybe man, uh, no, maybe the first half last week and then probably Swindon, obviously. That's probably the worst we've played. Um, but to come here and be resolute, um, pick up three points and that long-awaited clean sheet for us at the back and then obviously a bonus for myself to, to pick up a goal. Yeah, it's funny you mentioned that. We literally just said the same thing with Scott. We spoke about what you said a couple of weeks ago about you know the performances and you know playing well, but sometimes you'd rather not be at your best but pick up points. And it's exactly what we've done today. Is that something that was sort of echoed before the game? You know about the game management side of things. Uh, I mean, we never talk about playing playing badly, um, but it's definitely something that we've we've discussed. And we've got to pick up points when we're not at our best. Um, it now gives us a platform for to now hopefully improve the performance next week or against Dons in a couple of days and um, along with the performance pick up three points as well because um, obviously that's what it's about. Yeah you said there you know long awaited clean sheet for the lads at the back you know again we spoke about it in recent weeks it's not like you haven't deserved that it must be a great feeling to you know finally get one especially on the road as well. Yeah it's massive for us um, and I think Corey um, played a massive part in that and probably a massive part in us winning the game. Um, he made some, some big saves and he come out at big, time, uh, big times and um, he kept us in the game at 1-0 and then obviously we got up the other end and score and from there we just see the game out and um, yeah we're buzzing with that and the clean sheet and we need a few more now to start racking them up but um, we'll be aiming, we'll be striving for that in, against Dons. Yeah and it's not easy is it because we've had a lot of you know people coming in and out at the back obviously you and the last few games have moved up you know slightly higher into that midfield role but it can't be easy for a backline you know when you have to keep changing the you know the, the team Scott's touched on that a lot so you know it's a great feeling isn't it to you know finally get that one. Yeah, 100%. I mean, I don't know how many different uh, partnerships we've had um, over the last few months, but uh, we're starting to build a good understanding and um, I think players are ready to step in. You look at H, he's been on the sidelines for a good couple of months and I don't even see him get cramped yet. So that's um, he's done very well in his in his break and he's kept himself fit and ready and he's taken his chance and there's a clean sheet there so he can fight his case when we're all back fit and um, it'll keep his shirt. Yeah, we had to obviously bide our time a little bit in the first half. You, you know, came in with the breakthrough, an unbelievable strike from the edge of the box. You know, we spoke on the Twitter and the match report about it. Sometimes you may think that's almost too close. You know, it was right on the line, wasn't it? But, you know, you seem pretty confident standing over that ball. Yeah, well, I think if I didn't have one uh, last week against Wimbledon that close, where I tried to go over the wall, um, then I probably would have tried to go over the wall again, to be honest. Um, and obviously, I know turns in goal and... A lot of the times I say I never like to go goalie side because I practice going over a wall. Um, but obviously, well, he left me a little bit of a gap and I just thought, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a go after last week and I probably slightly over my celebration. It was, uh, there's no malice in it. Um, but, you know, when you score a goal like that, it's, it's always nice to celebrate it. So, yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it must be hard to not, you know, as you say, over-egg it a little bit, especially considering, you know, the manner of the strike, obviously putting your side one and up on the road, you know, against your former team as well. But as you say, no malice involved. And, you know, it was just a great moment, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I would have celebrated whoever it was against. It wasn't just because of where we were. Um, or, yeah, obviously playing here today. Um, yeah, I, even though I've scored recently, I don't score many. So it's always nice to, to go and celebrate. Um, but, yeah, like I said, there's no malice in it. And... Um, yeah, I've got nothing but respect for the fans here, so yeah, I just want to make that clear. Yeah, and obviously Scott to spoke about in his um, post-match about you know the away form. He's glad that we can sort of put this you know thing behind us that you know we're not so good on the road. And you know, I had a little joke about how we need to improve our home form. I haven't lost the last yeah. two there, but you know, it seems to have been you know you know really good switch in the mentality recently away from home. You know, I know Gladwin's done a lot of work with meetings with the players mm -hmm. and stuff, so it must be pleasing that you know we're finally picking up these wins. Yeah, 100%. I mean, you're right, we've got Marriott up now and we'll become a proper side if we do. Um, a lot over this Christmas period, if you become good home and away, you'll pick yourself like where we are in the league. I don't know where that puts us, but we'll be right up there. Um, and we've got another tough game now um, away at MK Dons, big stadium, um, big pitch, and a team, again, that likes to, to play. And they've gone in there and I've been sort of checking stats. It's a local side for me, so I've been checking stats for them. They're, uh, 
they're dominating games now, 65, 70% possession. So it's going to be a real good game, um, good game of football, and hopefully we can go there and pick up the points. Yeah, and how much of a confidence boost is this win going to be? As you say, you know, going to another big stadium in front of probably quite a big crowd, and you know, <laughs> it's just a real confidence boost, isn't it? Yeah, and we need to use it as that. Um, like we said there, we've got to pick up these points in this period because it can it can really be seen it season defining. So um, we don't want it to dwindle away. We want to be um, punching above our weight and attacking the back of the playoffs. And um, yeah, we'll see where it takes us um, over this, these next few games. Yeah, and obviously nice to reward the fans as well. Terrific support on Friday night, almost close to 5,000 mm. just before Christmas, and then literally just after Christmas, 288 here at Gillingham. You know, as we said with Scott, it's you know it's a nice feeling to give them a reward. Yeah, I think we owed them that um, after last week's first half performance. Um, I think the way we had a go second half, they probably went home not overly disappointed. Um, that's the right way of putting it. But if, if they saw if we served up what we served up in the first half and the second half, then then obviously we definitely did owe them that. And um, yeah, it's, it's, there's something about winning away and. Um, when they're packed in down the corner, there's, there's nothing like scoring that end. Rolsey, Rolsey getting his just rewards as well because he's, he's had some big moments in the cup games and he's, he's waited for his chance and he's probably been unfortunate. He's picked up niggles after scoring in, in the cup games and it's nice to see him come on today and obviously get that goal that gets us fully over the line and he gets to go celebrate it down that end with the fans. So, um, yeah, congratulations to him as well.